Hi there, my name's Maureen. I'm a third year photojournalism major in the School of Photographic Arts and Sciences at RIT. Hi, I'm Sammy. I am a fourth year biomedical photographer at RIT, and we're going to teach you how to make a camera obscura with a room. Camera obscura is a Latin term which means darkened chamber or room. The basic camera obscura is a wooden box with a small opening or aperture at one end and a screen at the opposite end. What happens is light passes through the aperture and the image of whatever the aperture is facing is projected upside down onto the screen. Before light sensitive photographic plates, films, and papers were developed, the camera obscura was used for drawing and entertainment. Most often, a camera obscura was a box with a mirror at the back which reflected the image onto a glass plate for use in making realistic drawings and tracings of landscapes and people. But if you think about it, your phone camera, your point and shoot, and your SLR cameras all rely on the basic principles taught by the camera obscura. Light passes through an aperture and is projected on a screen opposite the aperture. Introduce a light sensitive material and you now have a photographic camera. The materials you will need are cardboard boxes or heavy black paper, something like poster board, scissors or a box cutter, thick black tape, an X-Acto knife, a pencil, and a quarter. For best results, do this on a day with bright sunlight. Find a room with a window with a blank wall opposite it and a door that can be closed. Next, determine which part of the window you want your aperture to be placed. If you want more sky in your image, place the aperture closer to the top of the window. If you want more ground in your image, place the aperture near the bottom of the window. Keep the piece of cardboard or poster board that will have the aperture separate from the rest of the pieces. Tape those pieces to the window first, but leave the part of your window that you want your aperture to be placed uncovered. Place the quarter on, the, on your separate piece of board in the spot where you want your aperture to be and trace it onto the board. Cut out the aperture with the X-Acto knife. Tape the aperture to the window. Close the door, turn off the lights, and wait for your eyes to adjust to the low light. After a few minutes, you should be able to see the image of the outside world projected on the walls in real time.